This morning, Armel Leclerc, still leading Alex Thompson by 75 miles, was on the latitude 46 degrees north, that of Les Sables d'Olonne. But a direct route isn't feasible. Both men will have to tack at the channel's entrance and take advantage of the northeast frosty wind up until the arrival line. An enthralling finish followed at a distance by the other competitors. Considering Alex Thompson's speed lately, he's got the bit between his teeth. And he's going to do everything he can to take over Armel. He's going to feel the heat till the very end. It'll be tight, but he'll keep up. That's what I wish him, because to finish three times third would surely be hard to cope with. He deserves the win. It's his year. Alex is doing a wonderful Vendée Globe. He was third four years ago. If he's second this year, that's a good reason to come back in four years. The coming hours will be decisive, with an outcome planned for midday Thursday. Tomorrow or after tomorrow, they'll be arriving, and I'm 10,000 miles away. A bit less than 10,000, actually. Wow, not easy to live with that thought. Wow, the guys will be going home. When I see what's left for me to cover, it feels weird, really. There are only four skippers left in the South Pacific, the youngest and the oldest of the race, Alan Ruer and Rich Wilson, who crossed the Cape Horn last night with three hours and 57 minutes difference. 3,500 miles ahead, not far from the equator, Louis Burton can finally savor the mildest of the tropical climate. Bonjour à tous. Hello to all, welcome on board Bureau Vallée, 71st day of the race, and all is well, gliding at 50 knots in the trade wind, and we'll soon be reaching the equator. Anxious to be back with you all. It is now wash time on board Bureau Vallée. Quasiment maladive, je ne fais voir mes ordres, gagne procréateur, à personne excepté mes femmes, j'ai mes docteurs.